Hey, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever had a simple trip turn into something more? So yesterday, I had mentioned in the video previous, I was kind of got disappointed by one of our local stores. Uh, so let me go into that first. So Friday night, sitting at the house, and, and I hear from a lot of the people on this channel, whether it's email, texts, calls, um, just dialogue back and forth in the chat, and, and I truly appreciate it. Um, you guys are some amazing people. You sent me on some amazing stuff and, and you guys give me great things and great ideas. So Friday night, I'm texting back and forth uh, with Jeremy. He's a friend of mine now. He's someone that I, I just absolutely love and he's been getting some monster bottles lately. Um, and he was sharing some stuff with me and then he happened to say, hey, did you notice that Columbus Beverage has a shanks that's available online and i'm like are you kidding me he's like no you know because i'm after the bomb burgers the shanks and stuff i've been trying to get a bottle you know and and i'm like sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't but you know this is 10 30 at night i'm like oh cool so after we wrapped up text and i went online and sure enough it was showing it was there so i did all the necessary steps so i could pick it up the next day <clears throat> get a confirming text and an email back you'll hear from us between 9 and 11 and you know you should be good to go i'm like cool so about 10 30 i figure well i should be hearing from them soon i'm just gonna start heading that way you know and it's not the longest ride to get there but i'm on the way and then about 10 45 i get the text that says your order's been canceled and i'm like that's kind of odd so i call <clears throat> and uh they're like yeah we didn't have the stock and so here's, here's the, the part that I guess disappointed me the most, um, is I got varying answers on what happened, why it happened, and, and nobody said, hey, we're really sorry about this, this sucks, understood. If they would have just said, hey, we had a glitch, it wasn't there, we're sorry about that, I'd have let it go and been fine. But... There was no kind of, at the very beginning, there was no kind of an accountability. And no one ever said, hey, we're sorry we wasted your time on this. And that's why it kind of, it, it miffed me a little bit. So, you know, I'm talking with, I call and I say, hey, why this happened? He says, well, our inventory was off. And I'm like, okay. I said, you know, can you explain how it was off? He says, well, we have thousands of bottles here. And, and I said, I said, okay, I understand that. I said, this was Jack Daniels old number seven. I can understand maybe being off a bottle, but this is something that's highly sought after. They're usually, you know, small batches are coming in. It's, it's pretty easy to count to six or three or whatever your quantity is. So, you know, it's just not passing the sniff test. And then the next answer was, well, sometimes our owner brings a bottle home and we didn't realize it and it's not in our inventory. So, okay. And then another gentleman gets on the phone, you know, is the, he's hearing the discussion go back and forth. And he says, well, this is actually an inventory thing due to online sales. It shouldn't have been online. It was, it wasn't accounted for, uh, and it didn't, we're working with, you know, our web people on that. So I've, I've got three different answers and I have no reason to doubt that that was the final truth on it, but I just hate the fact that I got to three different things. So like I said, I'm not trying to put up pitchforks or torches and burn down the place. I just need to, sh they need to be able to show me that next time I see something on their website. And generally I do all my purchases in person, but I got to, it's, you know, it's the old Reagan thing, trust but verify. I've got to show that if there's something that I'm interested in and sought after, that I can actually make a successful purchase before I'm going to spend any of my money there. I'm not going to spend the time going through, checking on them. You know, there's a lot of other great stores in this area that I don't have to worry about these things. And, and I'll just stick with them. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not mad at them. I'm just not going to do business with them. Um, there's, a, there's a famous line by Tupac. It says, just because we ain't friends doesn't mean I don't want you to eat. Just not at my table. So, you know, I hope that their business does well. Um, I'm just not going to support them. 
until I see something different. So enough of my, my rant. <clears throat> As you can see up here, so what that did turn into is kind of a mini hunt yesterday, which is what this video is going to be about. And as you can see up here, um, getting ready for the uh, four cigar blind on this. Definitely looking forward to this. The Joseph Magnus, um, the old Raleigh, um, old Stogie batch, which was awesome. Thank you, Eric. The Rye 3 and the Old Elk Cigar Cut. So that's coming up. So you may be wondering, what the heck is this over to my right? This is the push to 1,000. At 1,000 subscribers, um, going to be giving away a Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Single Barrel Store Pick. And this has come from one of my favorite places to get store picks, the bottle shop. Terrence, who's a member of this channel, uh, is giving an E.H. Taylor small batch. This is an infinity bottle. Now, I'll wax it up, get some stickers on there, and get it pretty. I'd actually had this out <coughs> for viewers. Someone won this. I never got any contact information back. Tried to reach out a few times. But this has some stag in it, some uh, 13th Colony Double Oak. It's got some really cool stuff in there if you go back and watch that video. On top of that, I'll probably be doing a sample back too. I think a thousand is a big thing. So push to a thousand. When I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll do a specific video on it. Put in a key phrase. These are some of the things that will be going out for that uh, for that giveaway. So definitely looking forward to that. Thank you all so much for, reach, for growing this channel. Um, you know, one thing I did yesterday too, and I want to thank you again, is your guys' comments mean so much, uh, and it and it's tremendous to me. Um, I woke up this morning in a very good mood, and I read some stuff that just put, took me to another level. Um, uh, I'll go over a few of the things, you know, on the and this all three of these came from the same thing, and it was about Zach Thomas Hall of Fame stuff. Uh, the first one is uh, the Bloody 81. He was in, it's from the same hometown uh, as, as Texas Tech and stuff, so there's a neat connection there. Another one is Derek, who's an um, awesome member on the channel, got me the cask strength rye from 13th Colony. He played high school football against him once one time before and talked about how he's unblockable. I thought that was an outstanding story. Uh, another one I read, though, this morning, just I mean, it just hit my heart so good. Uh, Brian Padai, I hope I'm saying that right. It, it literally brought me to tears. Um, his daughter is going to have an opportunity to sing the national anthem at a Miami Dolphins game this year. And the reason is that she's a cancer survivor. And you talk about a wave of emotion to hear that. Uh, the most important thing is she is a cancer survivor. And, and many, many prayers that this stays in remission. Uh, but as a parent, you would rather anything under the sun happen to you as opposed to your child. But to see that she has come through this, she has an opportunity to represent a community that, that the people that are battling or dealing with or are in remission from cancer to sing a national anthem at a game and, and raise awareness. That is outstanding, Brian. Um, like I said, it literally brought me to tears to read that today. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, but let me go ahead and let you see some of the, the hunt videos. After that, I'll come back and, and talk about uh, a couple of the bottles I was able to pick up on the impromptu. Hunt. All right. Good morning out here at Midland Beverage. Let's see what they got inside today. Hadn't seen Manny defend on a trip. Hopefully he's got something inside me.
hanging out at the fair, Maple Party Shop. Let's see what we got inside. Hanging out the mistress. Let's see what she's got inside. Been a few days since I've been here.
So now that you've seen the hunt videos, I've been trying to go slower, trying to do better with that. So let me get me some of your feedback on how I'm doing with that. Am I doing a better job of, of doing the videos? Um, secondly, let me share a, a couple of the bottles that I was able to get yesterday. Um, so uh, where did I put them at? Uh, right here. Okay. Way behind me here. First bottle over here. This is actually something master pick 15 excellent bottle. <clears throat> if you guys don't know about master pick MGP juice, at least this one is. And they age it in uh, Indiana for like six years and then they send it over to Portland and in Portland, they age it until they feel that barrel's right. This is a 15-year. And Mad at Whiskey Wisdom absolutely fell in love with this bottle. You know, he, he's not seeing a lot up there. I told him, if I found one for him down here, and this is the last of Barrel 3, I would pick it up for him. So next time I see the guys at Whiskey, Whiskey Wisdom, wow. Um, next time I see Matt and Brandon from Whiskey Wisdom, I, I'm going to have this bottle for them. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, the next bottle is something that I ran into at a blind, and I hadn't had them before. Boy, it's been hard to find this bottle back here. There it is. <clears throat> is King's Family, and this is the Riconic. Now, I had their Riconic honey, um, and actually... Matt is saving me uh, some bottle, a bottle of some Riconic Honey cask, which I absolutely fell in love with. This is their uh, twice-barreled um, Riconic, so I'm looking forward to this. I have found I'm, I've really liked a lot of the twice, and they even have for a thrice-barreled um, stuff. I really like their juice. I'm very interested in trying out this rye, but uh, all I'm... Thank you so much for sharing. I absolutely love the stories and I love what you guys share in the chats. And thank you for sharing your time with me on this channel. Uh, it's Sunday, about ready to go to church here. Looking forward to football, full season, at least preseason, starting next weekend. Um, we got blessed the backpacks today. Absolutely love that. Kids getting ready to go back to school. Football season of fall are right around the corner. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless you. And thank you.